There's a negative answer and a positive answer. Funny thing is, they're both actually positive. The negative answer is that because Glorantha gave me a world where I really felt that um, religion and the gods and the interaction between heroes and gods had really been handled right, even though uh, that stuff is really, really important to me, and that's like, like my main creative focus in some ways, I knew that I didn't need to make a game that was going to really cover that. It's like, I already had Glorantha. Maybe I'd make a game someday that would be about Glorantha, but I, I didn't need to uh, go ahead and really work hard to cover that, because I was happy that way. Uh, on the, therefore, on the positive side, um, when I was working, for instance, on 4th uh, edition D&D &D and got to do the, um, the, uh, the primal classes, barbarians, um, shamans, uh, druids, I was able to, like, go ahead and go, okay, so from a Glorantha perspective, spirits are everywhere. That's what we're really talking about with a primal power. Let's go ahead and deal with the ancestors. So I was really channeling the fuel of Glorantha. And, you know, the certain, the, uh, certainly the, or, the Orlanthi more than the shaman people, actually, ironically, but, you know, but all of them together as I was doing that work. So that was a specific case. I think in 13th Age, the uh, game that Jonathan Tweet and I have just done, role-playing game, uh, again, we sort of like, we deliberately steered it away from being about the gods. Um, but Glorantha was in the back of our mind, um, in the sense that we wanted the worlds that our game masters create and the, the, uh, the incredibly rich magic that is going to happen inside the game. I wanted those events to be the type of things that I associate, um, of happening in Glorantha. I mean, for me, you know, when I was a, when I was a, uh, a kid and I started to play Dragon Pass, you know, Dragon Pass is the game where if you make the uh, you make the alliance with Sir Ethelrist, he shows up on the board, and then the Doom Hound, if he releases it, <laughs> wipes out everything in a straight row of hexes. Okay, that's the kind of spirit that I'm kind of when I'm uh, running Thirteenth Age or like writing pieces for it, and characters are having your one unique feature. Well, no one gets the Doom Hound, okay, but. That's the spirit of magic that I want the world to have. I don't think that we we have to just be like, you know, trapped in um, trapped in jail cells with only with only a small dagger and a set of keys to get out. No, I like the big magic. I like the sense that characters are interacting, and it's even better when that. I think what Glorantha taught me in a sense was that it's even better when that magic is connected to elements of deep power that really matter. And uh, certainly that's in 13th Age, um, but Glorantha, Glorantha pointed that way.